He's a world-class chef nominated for the Nobel Peace Prize for his work feeding the victims of natural disasters. Now Jose Andres is feeding the victims of a man-made disaster, furloughed federal employees hit by the government shutdown. But also I hope it'll be a call to action to our senators and congressmen, and especially President Trump. And federal employees have a message too. I don't think it's fair to us what's going on on Capitol Hill. Fatia Robinson works for the EPA and says she's relying on unemployment. But no, it's not enough. Others who lined up in the cold included U.S. Park police officers and IRS employees, but many didn't want to comment, fearing they'd be fired. Some 800,000 federal employees are either furloughed and at home, not getting paid, or now being forced to come into work, but still aren't being paid for that work. Today, many of those employees lined up for a free meal here in downtown D.C. Definitely appreciate it. Government workers say they're grateful for the free meals. And being very careful of every single penny that leaves our, you know, our bank accounts. As of now, people like Diana Greenberg don't know when they'll receive their next paycheck. Jose Andres says his World Central Kitchen will continue offering the free meals for as long as it can. In Washington, Alexandra Limon.